afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Seattle Mariners and the Minnesota Twins. It's Twins baseball on the show and it's coming up next. Striding forward now, Byron Buxton. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The center fielder, Byron Buxton. Now here it comes. Hey, fellas, the Mariners entering play here this afternoon. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, this team has been playing really well right now, and and, and this is case in point chance to jump out again nope. to another oh, one nothing lead they've really been that doing that they've been on the attack early offensive almost ambush like approaches to their at bats and it's working for them two and one now to the twins leadoff man Buxton ahead in the count three balls and a strike he's only four pitches in but he doesn't look too sharp to start the day off A good pass at that ball, just a little late, and now the count's full. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Hit down the line at first. Gloved by Adams. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. Up next for Minnesota, D.J. LeMayhew, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now here's the pitch. Liner toward right center. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And big trouble as this gets to the wall now. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Digging in now, Jorge Polanco. And he's one of the more dangerous hitters in baseball right now, carrying a 10-game hitting streak into this one. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Got to sit middle-middle when a guy's trying to pitch around you. If he's going to give you first base, take it. And he lays off for ball one. And there are the umpires working this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Patrick Johnson. You know, D-Roll, Patty Johnson, you know, decent strike zone, but isn't always super consistent. I think that's one of the things that irritates players and pitchers. The second baseman. Brian Dozier at the plate as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Bottom part of the zone, and the slider is in there for a called strike. Dozier. Originally from Mississippi, he was an eighth-round selection back in the 2009 MLB draft. What an absolute steal. I mean, he's, this guy has gotten a lot of people some big raises in the organization. To be drafted as low as he was and turned himself into one of the biggest superstars in our sport. I am very impressed with what this guy's been able to accomplish. The count now at 2-2. Two and two. Even at 2-2. Two and two. The pitch. Got him. Last half of the second set to go. And set to go is the veteran first baseman, Mike Moustakis. Open stance by Moustakis, and now the pitch. Counts 1 0. The 1 0 delivery. Very high, two and one. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Come on, big guy. Get yourself Here now the two-two. Is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next. In eight at-bats in the series, he's collected three hits. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Hey, one down. One down right now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. 
Swung on and missed that strike two. Sano flat out dominates against left handed pitching. Makes a lot of contact and hard contact at that. No doubt one of the biggest threats in the sport in these types of matchups. So now to the plate, David Peralta. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Two out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. Down, down. Little One too ball. much bite Two on the strength. slider that time, taken outside. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too okay, cute either. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Down the first baseline. Adams has got it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. The next twin up, hey, Nick Franklin, right looking for better well, results well. than last night when well, he went 0 for 4 in that one. Nick Franklin. First pitch of the at bat. Ball one, no strike. Now the 1 0. Misses, ball two. No strike. You know, sometimes it takes a pitcher a few pitches to get going, but. Those two pitches weren't even close. Falls behind in the count, 2 0. Oh, it's time to start getting locked in. The 2 1 is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. two, and two. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. Pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Mitch Garver comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0 and 2 now. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled off. Here we go, fellas. Let's go. Here's another 0 2. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. Here's Byron Buxton now. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Sends that one out of play for strike one. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Fastball called for strike two. Slow roller down the third baseline, but a foul ball, and the count holds at 0 2. Now a ball hit high in the air out to center field. Pereira is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Leading off the inning, D.J. LeMayhew, and they'll need him to get something going here. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Throw on to first in time, one away. At the plate, Jorge Polanco. The 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here comes the first pitch. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, good spot. On the black for strike two. Fouled away. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. 
And another foul ball. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. High chopper to third. Scooped up. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Here's Brian Dozier now. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count. The 0-2 once more. There's a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the Lead inning. Off. And up next, the former World Series the hero, Mike Moustakas. Mike Moustakas. Come on, guys. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee, or he was sitting off speed right there. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Right. Moustakas, or just Moose for short, his now. contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. Hey, this guy has been an absolute solid player his entire big league career, and I expect him to have a ton of suitors come this offseason. Oh, inside. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. And it's fouled away. Here's another one, two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Here's Miguel Sano looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. The 1 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the ball game for Minnesota. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The one-two is swung on and missed. He got him. The left fielder, number thirty-one, Jason Peralta. Standing in now, David Peralta. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Right, come on now. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0 2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Coming to the plate now, Nick Franklin. He'll start things Maybe out in their half of the play. sixth as they look to shake the things up here for a lineup that, go, quite frankly, go, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. Hey, one hit through no five one. innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? Yeah. We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. No balls in one strike. The windup and the 0-1. Lifted in the air out to center field. Chasing after it is Herrera. He makes the catch. Stepping in, Mitch Garver. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And the pitch. Now the slider gets the call in the bottom part of the zone. One out, nobody on. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Oh. 
And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. Ball. Misses, ball two. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but, boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. And, and this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Well, the one-two pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on two and two. You know he doesn't want this at bat to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. The next three-two. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. The center fielder, number 25, Byron. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Hey, two away now. Now the 0 1. Hey. Strike taken up in the zone. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup and try and get on base to set them up. Oh, the slider is laid off on the inside as it just misses the zone. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off a hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. And the throw to first will indeed get him. It's a strikeout score at two to three, and the inning is over. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. And here's a screwball that misses that time. Two balls and a strike. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here. Three and one. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. No walk so far. Here's the 3-2. Now this ball popped Lots up. Of room. Lots of room. Playable, however, behind the plate for Zanino. One gone now in the Minnesota 7th. And that will bring in Jorge Polanco to hit next. First pitch on its way. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Herrera's there. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now the number four Minnesota hitter, no Ryan no Dozier, 0 for 2 Second for him to man. this point. Dozier. Here comes the first pitch. Go. A ball that's and no ball. strikes. Boy, that's a tough pitch no, to take no. right there. I'm not sure if you're guessing or you're sitting on a pitch, but boy, that was awfully close to being called a strike. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Come on, guys. Come on. Two that balls ball and a strike to Dozier. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat okay, trying to two. get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three-ball count. Lifted in the air out towards left center. I got it, I got it. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And here comes the first baseman, Mike Moustakis. Open stance by Moustakis, and now the pitch. And he fouls this one off. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. In there, a base hit. So the Twins put their leadoff hitter on. Been up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. 
Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward, but I'm not betting against him. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 2. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ballgame. The 0 2 once more. Pulled high in the air out to left field. I got it, I got it. Zagunas will settle under it to make the play. So a runner at first now with one away. And up next, the outfielder, David Peralta. Peralta. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ball. Ball one, Moustakis no leads off first with one away. 2-0 oh, to the Twins' the left fielder. Well, we all know he's not the greatest no, threat with the bat here. up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. 2-1 and one now. Has a look. Now the pitch. Oh. Go to. Hold up. A bouncer up the middle. A step on the bag for one. And the off-balance throw will be too late. So coming to the plate, Nick Franklin. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding the zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Now he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, 1 and 2. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. Nope. If he doesn't outside. pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. And eight oh. innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Ready for another chance? Mitch Garver. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball. You need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. One and two to the Twins catcher. And it's two balls and two strikes now. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Byron Buxton. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey! And then that's a pretty good All example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Garcia is there, and folks are starting to head for the exit, and that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, and they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. 0-1, here's the pitch. Here. Final strike for the Twins. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. He's got it. And the throw is off target to the plate for him. And he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt. But you just have to let that get out of the way as best you can. You have to approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. A runner on first with two away. Count is one and two now. And this ball swung on and hit to center got, field. And this should do I it. Go, I go. He makes the catch. And the Mariners have claimed the fourth consecutive victory here as this ball game is over.
yeah, they could only manage two hits against him the entire game. So they were never really in a position to even challenge him. Rock solid win and a memorable performance. 3-0 the final score in this one today. The Seattle Mariners jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Billy Thornton earns the win his second as he allows only two hits over nine full innings. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.